Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering are the NIL deals going to ruin college football. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, let's get right into the action. Looking at NIL deals in college football, and this is basically name, image, and likeness deals. This is a couple of <clears throat> months ago, uh, Supreme Court's ruled that players in the NCAA, especially for football, can get paid off their likeness. They can get paid off their image. They can get paid off things that represent them while they're still remaining collegiate athletes. And you're looking at uh, the introduction of this, and you're also looking at the new rules that regulate the transfer portal. Um, as we've seen the last couple of months, last couple of years, uh, the transfer portal has become a booming business for college football. When you have players that can transfer, they don't have to sit, they don't have to wait, and, and they can go to another team. They can transfer. And when you're looking at what this is doing for college football, it's basically becoming what's, what team's the highest bidder? When you're looking at, uh, uh, players going to visit. They're also looking at NIL deals. They're also looking at, hmm, what car dealership can sponsor me? Hmm, what what food company can sponsor me? Hmm, what can do this? And now NILs are good things because they allow young people to literally take advantage of what colleges are taking advantage of. When colleges sell jerseys that, that let's just say a number 15 Tim Tebow jersey, he didn't see money from that in college probably. Look at just, you know, some of the great stars that have played before these NIL deals. They didn't see money from those revenues from ticket sales. They didn't see money from all those things. Yes, they got an education, but that money is not always needed for just education. That money's used sometimes to help families. That money's used sometimes to help get uh, uh, food, you know, being able to go out to the movies, being able to live a normal life in college. If you're, if you're a scholarship athlete, yes, you're given a tremendous opportunity to go to school to get a tremendous opportunity to get an education. But what about living regular life outside the season? What happens when 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 real life emergencies happen? You don't have the money. What happens to those, to those players that come don't come from uh, backgrounds that's wealthy with money? Then what? So I don't think the NIL deals are gonna ruin college. I think it's what's needed. And by God, if these people wanna go out and, and, and play football and put their bodies on the line, they should be able to get paid. Think about this. When you go to the army, you can go at 18. You can go serve your country. You can also lose your life at 18. Why not be able to play sports and get paid the highest amount of, of money? There shouldn't be a salary cap on NIL deals. If these people want to pay them millions of dollars, tons of millions to do whatever, X, Y, Z, as long as it's not hurting anybody, killing anybody, or putting anybody's life in jeopardy, pay them. I know Lane Kiffin said that, you know, they, they need to put a salary cap on this thing, but no, 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 no. Y'all coaches get paid whatever someone will write the check for. I, Nick Saban, if he wants to go to Alabama and say, I want to raise, he'll probably get one. If if Jimbo Fisher goes to the, to the Texas A&M school and says, hey, I want to raise, he'll probably get one. If you're performing and bringing massive amounts of dollars into the school, you get, should get paid for it. Tell me what you guys think. Get in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the NIL deals. Do you think that it's going to ruin college? Do you think it's helpful for college? And hey, you made it to the end of the video. Since you're here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Share it in your Facebook group, all right? We'll see you on the next video.